In this video, I'll demonstrate how to use Divi's Content Import Wizard to batch import an existing editorial calendar or list of content projects into Divi HQ. Within the drop-down below your name, go to your Calendar Admin and select the Content Imports tab on the left. To start a new import, click the New Import button and then walk through our 5-step import wizard. For Step 1, select the calendar to which you want to import content. Step 2. Format your spreadsheet. Using our CSV template as a guide, you'll need to map your spreadsheet data to the available fields within Divi prior to doing the import. I have our import template pulled up here, and each column represents one of DiviHQ's fields. You'll want to review your spreadsheet data and think about how your columns should map to our fields. During this process, here are five quick tips to consider. Tip number one. You do not have to use all of the columns or fields provided in our template. The only required fields that we need are the content type, the content item's title, the content owner, and the content item's status. Tip number two. If you'll be including date fields within your import, it's important to format your dates in month, day, year format so that our importer gets it right. Tip number three. If you are importing content ideas or projects that don't yet have deadlines, you want to set the status field to parking lot or planned so our system knows where to store those items. Tip number four. It's important to match the data values within your spreadsheet exactly for various fields like team member names and content types. For example, the data that you include in your content type column should match identically to the content types added within your Divi account. If our system sees variations in spelling, capitalization, or punctuation, it will add the variant as a new content type. Final tip, if you have other types of data or extra columns within your spreadsheet that you're wanting to import, Divi's importer can import that data by selecting the Extra Data option, which I'll point out when we get to the field mapping step. Once your formatting is complete, step three is to save your spreadsheet in CSV format and upload the new file. For step four, you'll now see the field mapper that allows you to select the appropriate Divi field that corresponds to the data column in your spreadsheet. I'll hit the fast forward button to get through this quickly. Remember what I said earlier about extra data? Any extra columns in your spreadsheet can be imported by selecting extra data here, and that data will be inserted into Divi's full content field. Okay, last two steps. Give your import a name and then click Start Import. Depending on the amount of data you're importing, the import process may take anywhere from 1 to 30 minutes to complete. You'll receive an email and a recent activity update once the import is complete. If you recognize an issue with your import, you can click the Undo link next to your import within the Import tab. This will remove all imported content and you can start again from the top. Thanks for watching our Content Import Wizard tutorial. Should you ever need help with an import, you can submit a support ticket at help.divihq.com or shoot us an email at support at Good luck and happy divvying!